All right, guys, uh, I'm about to arrive at the Walmart DC in Riverside, California. One of the two DC, actually one of three DCs that I regularly go to when I was in the Walmart dedicated fleet. Okay, just turning on to Columbia Avenue right now from Iowa Avenue. Right after you get across these railroad tracks up here, it'll be a left turn pocket. And the DC is right there, literally on the other side of the tracks. A little bit different process here than a typical Walmart DC. This one, um, basically you drop your trailer in front of the door. You don't break the seal, you don't put it in the door, you just did I just see a car on the train tracks? I was busy looking everywhere else and uh, I'm just mainly looking for train activity. And it's like I almost swore I saw a car sitting on the train tracks. See our England driver with the Walmart trailer. Looks like he's dropping his empty. Got two lanes here. You can take either lane. Right. Let's see our England bobtail up there. Here to pick up a load. Come on. I want to send my arrival call. Thank you. Arrived at the signee. 0918, I think it's the 18th, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, so 0106. Okay, so a lot of our loads that come here are actually going to be uh, pulling fax loads. This came out of the Tyson plant in Sherman, Texas. Um, that's actually beef, that's right. Yeah, a lot of times the Tyson plants are, uh, are chicken plants, but this one here is actually a beef load. Uh, now normally Walmart, they only do pull and fax, you know, where basically they just pull the product out and then they, uh, they sign the bills basically uh, OS and D pending um, and then they fax the copy of the bills to the to your carrier and then that, that way you can get out of the get out of there faster but um, usually they only do it for cross stocks basically if one that's coming from another Walmart DC but uh, I found on this one particularly uh, especially when I do Tyson loads and to hear they usually do offer to do uh, pull and fax and the center and I have a 0615 pickup in city of industry and it's uh, about 1 10 in the morning right now for a 2 a.m. appointment are these guys getting ready to leave hopefully anyway uh, yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna want to take advantage of it now, last time I came here, they offered it, and I said, nah, I don't even worry about it because I'm out of hours anyway, and I don't think I had a load, and don't think our, yeah, I think it was, you know, because our planners weren't going to be in until later on in the morning anyway, so, uh, yeah, last time I just told them, don't even worry about it, just, I wouldn't hang out here, it's, it's not, it's of no consequence to me, so. But yeah, this time it's, I'm definitely going to take advantage of the pulling fax offer if they do ask, uh, if they do offer it. Now I can get done with this uh, within a, a very reasonable time. I 
and go get my trailer washed out over in Fontana. Waiting on this girl here to go by. It's usually the day cab trucks that would come over here to do these loads because uh, they're all, they're all, um, this, this DC serves Walmart stores throughout Southern and Central California. Uh, where is it they go? I don't know if, uh, basically they go up to maybe Fresno and that's about as far north as they go. So all the, all the Walmart stores between, we'll just say Fresno area on down to the Mexican state line and uh, in California. Or at least uh, down to Calexico, probably. Uh, let me, I gotta deal with him later. I was on the phone with him and the uh, call then dropped. This guy is not going to be long, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll wait for him, and I can get him with I can uh, come up to that. Yeah, I can pick both lanes, but I know this guy's going to go drop his uh, trailer very soon. So Pretty much how I used to do that too. <laughs> okay, yeah. So anyway, the, that fleet there, like I said it's mostly day cabs that, that come here because um, all the stores that services are uh, service are you know within day cab range. Uh, but some, yeah, I remember sometimes I would come out here to I'd come over here to cover a day cab route with my sleeper cab. These are the sleeper cabs go over to the, the Colton DC to, to do Sam's Club loads.
put myself in yard roof status since I'm already in the middle of a shift. setting into this door to be honest with you.
blind side. The tandems are not far enough over to the, the side that I need them on. angle back and square back up. Much better. giving us permission to go ahead and do it ourselves.
Best practice, get in tight with the other trucks, that way there's room for other drivers. Um, for other drivers to squeeze in between you and whatever bobtail is nearby. Oh, that's it for checking in here. Um, she didn't say anything about it being a pulling fax, but it doesn't mean it's not. Uh, she just said they'll call me when it's ready. So, could be here an hour, or could be here three or four. Who knows? Hopefully, uh, hopefully they don't make me late for my other pickup. That's all I'm concerned about. Uh, I mean, the other pickup, they'll take me late, but... Yeah, if we can be avoided, great. Uh, I don't want to be showing up later than... I don't want to have to be worked in. Um, let's see. If he can... Just in case. I think there's room there, but just in case it's tight, I can... I think I can get in a little bit closer to this guy. Story. 
this is just gonna nose it. Hey VNR, I got room to slide over here a little more if you want to still try and get into that spot. I don't think he has his radio on. I think he has room over there, I just don't think he thinks he does. Slide over a little bit more just to be sure. I just want to make sure it's room, uh, you know, I don't get hit or it's easy for, you know, it's just limit, parking is so limited here. So, anything that'll help with uh, someone getting into a spot. Oh, help. Alright. Um, wrap that up. I'm going to get me some sleep.